Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Deleted Scenes from Sunday Sermon. Today's topic, how we are in the world, but not of the world, so we can reach the world for Jesus Christ. Listen to what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. So I tell you this and insist on it in the Lord that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their thinking. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17, the Apostle Paul is discouraging these brand new believers from reverting back to their old life before Jesus Christ came into their lives. Uh, when he says, do not live as the Gentiles do, what he is saying is that the Gentiles, the people in the world, live in rebellion against God. Now imagine how hard it would have been to, for them to be the first believer in their families. Imagine being the first Christian in your marriage, the first believer in your work, in your neighborhood, and in your home. I'll never forget this member of our church in Orlando where we served for many years. He came to know Christ and he was so excited he wanted to tell all of his friends. And when he went to tell his friends about the good news, they were not as excited to hear about it. As a matter of fact, they said to him, listen, we give you two weeks with this Jesus thing and then you'll be back to where you were uh, before. Now, if you can relate to this, I want to encourage you not to give up hope. Here, the Bible teaches us that you're not the first person to experience something like this. As a matter of fact, in the Old Testament, we learn about men like Noah, like Joseph, and even Daniel, who lived in a generation that wanted nothing to do with God, and yet they were called to be faithful to their God. Now the other reason why we shouldn't give up hope and we shouldn't stop shining our light, even in those moments when we feel frustrated and, and like throwing in the towel, is that we as believers, the Bible reveals, have a sanctifying presence on the people who are closest to us. Listen to these words from the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 13 through 14. And if a woman has a husband who is not a believer and he is willing to live with her, she must not divorce him. For the unbelieving husband has been sanctified through his wife and the unbelieving wife has been sanctified through her believing husband. Otherwise, your children would be unclean, but as it is, they are holy. God is using us in ways that we cannot even imagine to draw the people that are nearest to us closer to Him. God moves in mysterious ways. And He wants to use people like you, people like me, to help turn the hearts of those around us towards the cross of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening, and may God richly bless you this day. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to let us know by commenting, giving a thumbs up, and subscribing. Thank you.